Steve uh, Knight's an extraordinarily talented writer, and I was just taken with the with the characters and with the character of uh, Adam, uh, you know, a, a man who is uh, had success in the past, tremendous failure, and uh, has disappeared from the face of the earth and come back and tried to recapture something from before uh, and discovering that he can only do it with the help of other people, which is something that in his narcissism and egotism he hadn't uh, he hadn't bargained hadn't bargained on it's a wonderful redemption story about a man kind of coming back to grips with uh, with being an adult like what's required to to actually really succeed in life not just in one specific part of your profession I mean, Adam is not an immediately likable person. You know, now you put uh, Bradley Cooper in it and our sympathies are sort of immediately with him. And then you're really asking yourself, I wonder if my sympathy should be with him. He's, um, he seems to be someone who's really only cares about himself and is only concerned with whatever he personally is concerned with. Um, but really that's the trajectory of the story is that way that someone who's had a dark past and has been struggling with how to be a... Uh, a mature adult uh, comes to grips with, uh, you know, that moment in your life where you're either going to become one thing or, or you have an opportunity to become something else. And, uh, you know, and through Sienna's characters, you know, through Helene and all the other people around him who are rooting for him and trying to help him, even though he maybe doesn't deserve it, um, you know, he, he comes slowly to a realization that there may be more in life than just looking after his own selfish interests. Yeah, I think Bradley's a really wonderful actor. He's very, very smart, a uh, very intelligent man, um, and he sort of understood the complexity of it. I felt that he would really understand what the character was going through and how difficult it is to give up on your obsessions and addictions and, and, um, and how hard it is to kind of take that next step. Uh, and, and, you know, and we're trying to do that within a world that is entertaining and in, in the sense that it's um, compelling in a world that I didn't know a whole lot about beforehand, which is, you know, the world of professional kitchens and the people who work in them. And getting to the, the more research I did in it, the more I thought that Bradley was actually the right, absolutely the right choice for it. There's a complexity a sort of a, a wonderful complexity to Bradley, which is very much apparent in, in Adam. Uh, people are not always one thing. They're not always easily black or easily white. Or, or, uh, and, and so that uh, dichotomy in the character I thought Bradley could really bring to, uh, to light in his performance. It's a very courageous performance and, and courageous to take the part on because it not only does it require, you know, a, a, a certain kind of performance, a com complex and difficult character to play because um, he's not immediately likable person. Um, it requires technical skill and a kind of a commitment to technical skill. Uh, the, these Michelin chefs, these, you know, highly regarded chefs are artisans. They are... They have, you know, 10, 15, 20 years of professional training uh, to even be able to kind of do the parts of what they do that are just a craft, much less the next part, which is to be really extraordinary or to, uh, to excel in some way that draws a lot of attention. The work environment itself in the shooting of it is dangerous. Uh, there are real pans and real heat and, and, uh, and the stoves are going and everybody was getting burned and cut and lots of stuff flying around, uh, which was one of the things that when I went and started doing the research that I was uh, surprised I hadn't really thought about before. But when you look at the arms of any of these young chefs or the chefs in these kitchens, you know, they're covered with burns and cuts and... You know, and it's a very physical kind of masculine world, not to suggest there aren't a lot of wonderful uh, female chefs who are in it, but it's a, it, it reminded me much more of, uh, of iron workers than it did of what I kind of had in my mind of Michelin chefs with little hats wandering around. It's, <clears throat> it's, um, 
it's very uh, it's actually very dangerous and we had a number of people get hurt uh, you know in minor ways but minor very painful ways during the shooting you know Sienna was a real trooper because uh, you know she hadn't done it a lot before and she was on one of the most difficult stations in the kitchen on the fish station um, throughout the shoot with and she has burns all over her hands and just stayed in there and kept banging away. So it was a lot for all of them to take on when they committed to it. We, we warned them that it was going to be, um, you know, it was not going to be uh, as simple as they imagined, and it wasn't.